All right, I'm back. This is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and I'm here with another update. For those of you guys who have been following my channel so faithfully, you will know I am still in the process of painting my open floor plan living room, dining room, office, entryway, and bar area. And honey, it is a lot of work. Now, I will tell you that when we first moved into this house, we did look into getting this house professionally painted because the space is so big and the ceilings are so high. And I have to tell you, the quotes were crazy. The first quote was about $5,000 and the second quote was about $7,000 and that did not include the actual paint. That was just for the labor. And we just decided that that was too much money to spend on paint. For that kind of money, I can finish either furnishing my house or I can put some money down towards what it's going to take for me to do some work in the kitchen or I could just do all the lighting in the house for that money. And so we just decided we were going to put in some sweat equity and do this project ourselves no matter how long it takes. So we have been in here just working our fingers to the bone and this is how it's coming together. After so many weeks, all the paint color is up. However, we are gonna have to do a little bit of touch up paint and some of the parts of the ceiling. And so that's kind of why we have not moved the furniture back in at this point. But this is how the color is coming. I'm going to just insert a quick clip of what it looked like before, just to remind you. And then you'll just be able to see the dramatic transformation with just the paint alone. All right, so the before, I just am not feeling this tan paint. It has such a yellow hue, and really as the sun is going down, it looks very pink in certain parts of the room, and I think it really ages the house, so we definitely wanted to go for more modern color. And speaking of color, my husband and I went back and forth trying to find the perfect gray color to complement our hardwood floors, and he definitely wanted something darker, and I wanted something lighter. We settled on Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams. And because I still wanted something even lighter, I did get three different concentrations of Repose Gray. So I have 75% Repose Gray, 100% Repose Gray, and 125% Repose Gray going on in different areas of this room. Now take a good look at this room and tell me if you can tell the difference in the shades of Repose Gray going on in here. Because I have to be honest, I can't really see the difference. So I did all this work trying to make sure that there weren't parts of the home that were too dark because they don't get as much lighting but I definitely wanted the same color throughout and the same undertones throughout and with all of these different concentrations of repose gray honestly I'm in here and I can't tell the difference so like this area behind the bar that wall is 75% repose it's a little bit lighter I definitely wanted artwork to be able to pop off the back of that wall because it just doesn't get the same full sun as the other spots of the home also, the dining room and office are the standard repose gray at 100%, but then the whole living room is 125%, so it's a little bit darker. And then the back wall of the fireplace cutouts is also the 75%, so that whatever I put in there can contrast. The thing is, there's so much sunlight coming in this room, and it casts shadows everywhere, and sometimes the walls look almost white, and sometimes they just look darker. And I feel like I just put myself through all of that mental anguish and in the end, I really can't tell the difference um, in terms of how deep the paint color is across these three rooms. So do I recommend doing this again? I would say if you need to lighten the paint color and that's what you know you want to do, go for it. But I can tell you for just the way my room is set up and the way the sunlight hits it, I can't really tell the difference. Now the other thing we really started focusing on when we started seeing how the paint was looking is that we needed to do something about the light fixtures and also the window treatments in this space. Now, because our ceilings are high, um, the previous homeowner had just gone with standard size curtains. And instead of just getting custom curtains, they just hung the curtains towards the middle of the window. And even though it does give you a sense of privacy because the top that's open is so far above your head, it really doesn't have a custom look to it. So we're definitely looking to replace these curtains and also the light fixtures. Now, I will say these light fixtures were hot in the 90s and they they are in great condition and they're really good quality. However, I'm just not really feeling the color. And so this is an area that I want to address, but only when I really find the right fixture. So last week I started doing a little bit of shopping for lighting and I just haven't found anything that I am totally in love with. 
But what I will say is once we change the paint color in this room, the light fixtures look 50 times better because it's not like that yellow on yellow. There's a little bit more contrast. And so I feel like while we are looking for uh, more modern light fixtures in this room, we can definitely tolerate the original ones for a little while longer because it looks so much better with the new paint color. All right, you guys, now uh, before I wrap up my video, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I am going through. Um, just looking into drapes and curtains for the first time. My first house had blinds, and so I never really had to buy drapes, let alone custom ones. So I'm just kind of seeing what's out there and getting a ballpark of what it's gonna cost to cover my large windows. And I do, of course, want the floor to ceiling look. So I'm gonna go to this website called Regal Drapes and we're going to click on this um where we're going to get started designing our custom drape i like the fact that this website has a lot of different headers to choose from you can go with flat panel or the pinch pleats or the grommets and tailored pleats and some of these i think are just a little bit more old-fashioned i know that i have big windows i'm really trying to keep this cost effective so i'm going to stick with the first selection which is the flat panel plus i think it's the most um modern look so I think it's going to be uh, better all around anyway so once I select that I'm going to um, go on to the next section and it's going to allow me to select a fabric now they have a lot of fabric options to choose from and you can order a swatch so I'm going to go through this process with you guys just to show you what's out there but I'm probably going to order a couple of swatches if I find that their curtains are affordable so if after going through this process I find that there's just no way I can afford their drapes I'm not even going to order any swatches I think I want just a simple um, white fabric I want it to be bright enough to kind of match my baseboards i wanted to stand out a little bit um, and have a nice contrast between the wall color but i don't want it to be electrifyingly white because if it's electrifyingly white i feel like if it has any staining it's going to be super obvious and so i want something that's going to kind of wear well now i like this particular swatch it does have a little bit of gray and i don't know if this particular type is going to blend too much into the wall so i'm going to look at a different color this is nantucket snow it looks really pretty but this one is sheer so i'm going to try this pinehurst white this is probably also a sheer yeah that's a sheer i like the texture on it though so we're going to go back to nantucket snow and then back to batiste snow because i saw this one at the top and i think this one is also sheer Ooh. Let's try Sinatra Pearl. Okay, Sinatra Pearl looks nice. It's a really basic color. It's like you can't go wrong. I think it's just maybe got enough cream in it and maybe enough white in it to just go with my room. But we're gonna just um, select this fabric and see what happens and kind of get an idea for the price point. So I don't, they're asking me how I want to give the measurements. I'm gonna do the window or door measurements and I am gonna kind of estimate. I know my window is about um, 76 inches, so I'm just gonna put 78 inches in width. Um, my height from the floor, I'm gonna put zero because I want the um, drapes to come all the way down to about the baseboards. And then my window height, I'm going to put as the same height as my ceiling. So. I know my ceilings are 13 feet, so I think 12 feet is probably about where my husband is going to be able to um, hang the curtain rod. So I don't have the curtain rod yet, which is another reason why um, I'm not going to go ahead and, and order drapes today because I feel like... I want to make sure that he's going to be able to get the rod at a particular height so that when I order the curtains that they're going to be just right. Um, and of course where you hang the rod has a lot more to do with the studs and how close you can get it to your ceiling. And so because I have 13 foot ceilings I'm estimating that we will be able to get um, 12 foot curtains. So that's kind of my ballpark. But I am seeing that the price up here is almost $1400 her window and I have two windows so this is just out of range for me 
Okay, so I will not be ordering anything from Regal Drapes, but I'm gonna continue to look for more affordable vendors to get some curtains for this room because I totally believe it's possible. Also, I'm going to continue to look for light fixtures. I just have not seen anything I'm absolutely in love with. My husband is going to continue on doing the ceiling paint and the touch up so that we can get all the rest of the furniture back in and so that we can kind of get things to looking back to normal. So hopefully next week I will have like all of my furniture back and I am going to then start working on the painting of the sunroom and I have to start from scratch in that room and kind of get um, a wall color selected and things of that nature. So I am glad that you joined me today. I'm Danielle the Domestic Scientist. If you liked today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.